hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is timmy vanjo and if it's your first time here you're welcome please consider hitting the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to turn on your post notification so you do not miss any of my uploads and if it's not your first time here you know how we do it just give this video a thumbs up and today if you are interested in seeing the keto meals the new recipes i formulated myself by myself make sure you do keep on watching and these are new recipes i haven't i haven't shown them before i haven't filmed them before but if you are on my instagram you must have seen it before so this is the first time i am making most of these meals so if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure you do keep on watching <laughs> okay so my first meal is going to be cauliflower in mayo sauce the first day i made this recipe i was mind blown i just had to film this so i'm adding mayonnaise one teaspoon of mayonnaise half a teaspoon of garlic pepper and a pinch of salt to this bowl and of course some water into it i'm going to whisk this all up until it is smooth like so i don't want any lumps or anything to be left in the bowl so i'm just going to keep mixing this till everything is you know very very smooth once that is smooth i'm going to pour this into a pan and boil this up till it thickens next i'm going to add some butter to the um mayonnaise sauce and just let this simmer and cook properly so you're going to grate your cauliflower and you know make it turn into a rice form obviously because it's cauliflower rice we're having so you have to let it turn into rice okay so i'm going to grate this and this grater i got it for like 200 naira in the market in okay market and this is what i've been using to grate my stuff this is even what i used to grate my garlic so i'm using the side that has some kind of holes in it not the plastic side the iron part yeah. that's what i'm using to grate my cauliflower and i do not like stopping where the flower stops i still like to grate the stalk along with it because <laughs> it's still flour and once you grate it it's still going to give you that consistency of rice so why not grate it with it so i do not like to waste my cauliflower no form of wastage here nothing goes to waste i am going to keep on grating it till i am satisfied so once this is done i'm just going to pour this into the sauce nothing serious here just transfer it immediately into the sauce so my sauce is boiling obviously and has you know gained some thickness and as you can see the bubbles there is looking really really yummy already and i will just pour this um cauliflower into it i had no idea about how i was going to make this food initially i just tried i tried a recipe like i really wanted to have mayonnaise sauce one day and i had it with egg frittata on my instagram and the sauce was left so i just said you know what let me pour this cauliflower into the remaining of this sauce and see how it tastes i poured it into it and <laughs> When I tasted it, my head was spinning like, what is this amazement? That's why I said, keto or not, you need to try this. It tastes like rice, it tastes like couscous. So even if you don't eat rice, you don't eat couscous, you don't eat, you don't eat rice, sorry. At least you eat couscous, you can eat it. Even if you don't eat couscous, obviously you eat rice so you can have it. So I like to serve this up with some lettuce to, you know, add some color to my plate. And that is what I'm just going to do right now. I'm going to add my cauliflower rice on top of my lettuce. You just need to keep mixing the cauliflower rice till it's done. And if you want it to be sweet between me and you, allow it get burnt a little. It's just going to take the whole flavor to another level. So I added grilled turkey to my cauliflower rice. As you can see, it tastes absolutely good with um, my my cauliflower rice. And also some avocado pear. So this is what I'm going to have for breakfast today. And it tastes amazing. It tastes so bomb. Make sure you do try it and let me know. My next recipe is going to be um, a wrap. My mozzarella wrap. It's just cheese wrap so this bacon eh, i thought i was going to bring out oil from it that's why i didn't add anything to the pan and then this is my pan so far though 
And those of you who are always concerned about my pan that I shouldn't use iron spoon is going to spoil. See, yeah, this pan is cast iron. Nothing can happen to it. I've used knife, spoon, dagger, anything you can imagine on this pan. And nothing can happen to it. So please leave my pan alone. I added some butter eventually because I needed to fry this chicken. And I know the chicken will not <laughs> do as good as that bacon. So I added um some butter to fry the pan then i added salt pepper garlic powder and ginger powder to the chicken and that was just it so i'm just going to leave this to fry on every side for about maybe three to five minutes So next i'm chopping up some spring onions because this is what i'm going to mix my um wrap with like the inside of my wrap this is what i'm going to have on the inside so i'm just cutting some um spring onions i'm going to add this to the chicken and bacon i already made earlier on and then just add some mayonnaise with it because i already spiced up the um chicken i'm going to leave it like that so er the spice for the chicken is going to hold the whole and um, bacon and um, spring onions here so i'm not going to put any more spice into it so i'm just going to mix this up and you know this is going to be the filling of my mozzarella this is what i'm going to stuff it with so i'm just going to mix this up and set it aside so this is my cheese i'm going to cut this up and i didn't even know how much i needed because hmm, this is a task so i'm going to later cut it into flat pieces again so it can because i need to melt this up into a sheet so i have to make it as flat as possible and then i have to keep them close to each other so that when it melts because i'm going to put this into the oven once you see this pan just know it's going to the oven whatever i'm doing on it so i have to put it close together so when it melts everything stays together so once that melts a little bit i'm going to bring it out and spread it all around because some sides were thick some sides were thin so i'm going to use my spoon to kind of spread it out so it becomes evenly you know spread if that makes sense so i'm going to use my spoon to spread it out in the oven and just make sure everywhere is kind of ha, the same so that's just what i'm doing here as you can see and uh, i try to make it really really wide so that i can wrap it a lot then when when it dries up this is what you're going to have the mistake i made here was i didn't use baking paper and it's not as if this is my first time of doing this so i don't even know what's occurred i was thinking oh it's going to change this time around so if you're going to try this just put baking paper and then some side of it already started to cross and burn so i had to battle with it with the fork to kind of bring it out so at the end of the day victory at last i was able to bring it out in one form eventually so i obviously allowed this to cool down because it was so hot and i had to allow it cool down so the longer your mozzarella is in the oven the the drier it becomes and eventually gets crispy so you want to make sure you're checking on your cheese and <laughs> let it get the kind of consistency you want so this is my filling that i'm going to use in my cheese obviously so i'm just going to pour this in the cheese and wrap it up you can see how this cheese looks like pancake <laughs> i'm not kidding So all you're going to do now is gently wrap and remember to push your filling in as you are going along along as you are going anyways remember to push your filling in and that's pretty much everything about this very easy so once this is done i'm going to cut this up because it's kind of long i'm going to cut this up and because i still need to put it back in the oven for the um 
cheese the whole wrap to get a little bit hot again and also you remember i told you the longer your cheese is in the oven the um crispier it becomes or the drier it becomes so i kind of want it to become like had harder or even become crispy if possible so i'm going to put this back into the oven just to make everything hot or warm again because i love my food hot i'm going to pop this back into the oven and once it is hot i left it in the oven for about 10 more minutes and once that was done it was so good and good to go good to eat good to enter into my stomach this is so filling i had this with soda water and lemon and guy i was in heaven <laughs> that reminds me if you aren't on my instagram guy what are you doing please remember to follow my instagram handle so you can see all the meals that do not make it here i obviously show them on my insta story i have two dedicated highlights on my instagram which are never going anywhere and they are filled with keto meals and so on and so forth so make sure you do follow my instagram that is going to pop up on your screen right now so my dinner is something really simple like i was so tired it is um pumpkin leaves pumpkins <laughs> pumpkin stir fry ugu stir fry yeah ugu stir fry i'm just going to take a little bit of this warm this in a pan and that was it for my dinner and i like to target the fish in this whenever you want to make this pumpkin stir fry just make sure you put any kind of seafood the last time i made it here on this channel on my channel i put um shrimps in it and here when i made this one i put fish in it so make sure you have um some kind of seafood in it so once this is done i'm going to serve this up and i'm going to add um turkey that i the remaining turkey that i grilled earlier in the morning i'm going to add that to my um pumpkin stir fry so that is what i'm going to have for dinner today it's pretty much easy like keto is easy i don't know why people say they can't find what to eat you need to be creative and if you are not creative tell them to follow me i have loads and loads of keto meals keto inspirations to you know emulate so if it's your first time here you know what to do subscribe to my channel and remember to give this video a thumbs up i'll be sure to see you in my next one bye <laughs>